Hi. How was your prayer time today? Okay. Here we go. This is the Bible reading for July 20th from the One Year Bible for Kids Challenge Edition. A clean heart. The Pharisees were upset with Jesus because he wasn't following one of the traditions. How did Jesus answer them? Mark 7 1 23. Jesus teaches about inner purity. One day some Pharisees and teachers of religious law arrived from Jerusalem to see Jesus. They noticed that some of his disciples failed to follow the Jewish ritual of hand washing before eating. The Jews, especially the Pharisees, do not eat until they have poured water over their cupped hands, as required by their ancient traditions. Similarly, they don't eat anything from the market until they immerse their hands in water. This is but one of many traditions they have clung to, such as their ceremonial washing of cups, pitchers, and kettles. So the Pharisees and teachers of religious law asked him, Why don't your disciples follow our age-old tradition? They eat without first performing the hand-washing ceremony. Jesus replied, You hypocrites! Isaiah was right when he prophesied about you, for he wrote, These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Their worship is a farce. For they teach man-made ideas as commands from God. For you ignore God's law and substitute your own tradition. Then he said, You skillfully sidestep God's law in order to hold on to your own tradition. For instance, Moses gave you this love from God, Honor your father and mother, e and anyone who speaks disrespectfully of father or mother must be put to death. But you say it is alright for people to say to their parents, Sorry. I can't help you. For I have vowed to give to God what I would have given to you. In this way, you let them disregard their needy parents. And so you cancel the word of God in order to hand down your own tradition. And this is only one example among many others. Then Jesus called to the crowd to come and hear. All of you listen, he said, and try to understand. It's not what goes into your body that defiles you. You are defiled by what comes from your heart. Then Jesus went into a house to get away from the crowd, and his disciples asked him what he meant by the parable he had just used. Don't you understand either? He asked. Can't you see that the food you put into your body cannot defile you? Food doesn't go into your heart, but only passes through the stomach and then goes into the sewer. By saying this, he declared that every kind of food is acceptable in God's eyes. And then he added, it is what comes from inside that defiles you. For from within, out of the person's heart, come evil thoughts, sexual immorality, theft, murder, adultery, greed, wickedness, deceit, lustful desires, envy, slander, pride, and foolishness. All these vile things come from within. They are what defile you. The Pharisees were very good at keeping rules made by people, like washing their hands before they ate. So when they complained to Jesus that his disciples weren't obeying the rules, Jesus told them that God cated more about Taop e than rituals. God is far more concerned that we ace a clean heart than clean hands. A clean heart is free from hatred and pride, it is full of love for others and for God. A clean heart is what God desires. Give your heart to God. He will make it clean. Ezekiel 36 26-27, And I will give you a new heart, and I will put a new spirit in you. I will take out your stony, stubborn heart and give you a tender, responsive heart. And I will put my spirit in you so that you will follow my decrees and be careful to obey my regulations. And that's our Bible reading for today. Okay. Bye.